I'm praying for you. <laughs> when I said I'm going to vote, I'm going to vote for Beto because he cares for everybody. The reason that we're showing up in these cities, the reason we showed up for you tonight is to listen to and learn from you and make sure that after we win, we can hit the ground running on delivering for Victoria. What can you do about my mom who's 80 years old in Del Rio and has to travel to San Antonio just for a macular degenerative appointment with a specialist? Since Abbott has been governor, 16 rural hospitals have closed down in the state of Texas. When we win, we're expanding Medicaid, bringing $10 billion more into this state every year. That not only helps to stand up more of these closed hospitals and clinics, it helps to hire providers in communities like Del Rio, Texas, that are right now underserved. My name is Jessica, I'm a registered nurse. I, like thousands of the other nurses in the area, the state of Texas, are leaving the bedside um, at alarming rates because we're overworked, underpaid, and we have extremely unsafe patient ratios. We are, in Texas, 20,000 nurses short today. So what are we going to do about it? To meet that shortage, if you come from a community that is underserved and your profession is in demand, why don't we pay the cost of your nursing school education. If you've already taken on debt and are struggling to pay it back, why don't we wipe that clean so you have every reason to come back to Victoria and practice medicine here and be there for your patients. Governor Abbott has defunded mental health and I'm worried and concerned. We're, we're 51st today in the country in the ability to see a mental health care provider. We could give consistent preventative care so they're healthy enough and well enough to raise their kids, go to work, start a business, finish their education, run for political office, whatever they're here on this planet to do. What are you going to do to ensure that women like me are winning the fight for our own reproductive rights? Total ban on abortion signed by Greg Abbott. No exception for rape. No exception for incest. Now imagine on the night of November 8th, we elect not just a Democrat, but a proud, pro-choice Democrat. That shockwave that moves throughout the state, as it adds to the waves that we're picking up right now from Kansas, where a state thought to be far redder than Texas, defeated an anti-abortion amendment by 60 to 40. It was Texas women who won the day in 1973. It will be Texas women who win the day in 2022. Victoria, Texas, thank you for coming out.